from Hollywood, it's the live test show starring Greg Blum. It's another live special preview. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Greg Blum. Uh, welcome, everyone. Welcome to the live test show. Great to have you here. What a great audience. You guys look amazing tonight. So nice to see you out. 661-349-8255. That's 661-349-TALK. Before I go any further, I do want to in introduce my good friend and longtime companion, Mr. Shecky Atchison. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear is. some of that. Yeah. yeah. More, give him, more. Give him some love. Give me love. And also, I want to thank Jay Leno for lending us his set from The Tonight Show here in the Jay Leno's garage. Thank you, Jay. Wow. Look at this place. Nice. You want to see a talking puppet? <laughs> Is this a real song? No. Should I make him look like an idiot and not talk? <laughs> Look at this. No, you look like an animated character. Look. I'm a, I am animated. <laughs> After I have a couple of drinks, I'm really animated. <laughs> It's time for the news. That's right. It's time for the Action News Team to spring into action with news headlines that are important to you and your family from around the globe and around your neighborhood. And now, here's Greg Plum. <clears throat> I'm Greg Blum. Here now the news. Oh, <laughs> here now my phone. All right. Well, listen, this the new story for today is Suzanne Summers. Ah! She posted, oh, she says that her hair looks good. It kind of blended in with the grass. And I think you need to be on grass for her hair to look good. <laughs> now, you got to remember, this is somebody who posed naked and was a model and was very hot and was the president of Thighmaster. She she knew how to make her thighs do things that most thighs can't do. Okay, granted, but like um, let's say um, Marvin Hamlish, right? Okay. And uh, he plays the piano beautifully, right? Right. Let's say he was in a horrible car accident. And he smashed both his hands, <laughs> right? <laughs> You wouldn't want to see him play the piano anymore, you know? You're like, blank, 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 blank. <laughs> also arrested along with uh, Jane Fonda was Jane Fonda. Wow, those and... things look really tight on her wrist. I hope they're not cutting off her circulation. We wouldn't want to hurt the poor <laughs> activist, would we? Oh, don't use those for the garbage bags, dear. I need them for Jane Fonda. <laughs> It's not downtown, you plebe. It's Downton. Don't you that Mr. DeFazio? <laughs> the guy made pizza, Laverne's father. I am analog. I existed in the 60s. And I do not need a computer at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you really shouldn't eat that ice cream. You should eat the <laughs> other one. And he's originally from Saugerties, New York. Our good friend, Mr. Jimmy Fallon, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy! Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, how's everybody going? Hey, how's it doing? Hey, how's everybody going tonight? Uh, oh my god, <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. Whoa! Oh, he's falling. Anybody celebrating anything tonight? How about you, sir? You, you, hey, I don't, come, I don't come to your job and not laugh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
So I was thinking we should have something right in the middle of the show that's like really appealing to people so they'll click on it. You can use my thumbnail. I, I... No, it shouldn't so be you. <laughs> it should not be you. It should be something like this. Keep your eyes on the stage. <laughs> Whoa! See what I mean? I see it. Today in history. Hey, that was Gilligan, which is appropriate because today in history in 1900, Natalie Schaefer from Gilligan's Island, Lovey, the beautiful wife of Thurston Howell III was born. Happy birthday to Jenny McCarthy. Happy birthday to you. I dream of Jeannie or Bewitched. Because I love you too much, baby. <laughs> Elizabeth Montgomery, Barbara Eve. <laughs> Very superstitious. <laughs> uh, Adam's Family and Munster. Yes, 1962. They did the match. They did the monster man. The monster man. Ginger versus Marianne. Some Puerto Rican girls is just dying to meet you. <laughs> Were women allowed to smoke back in the Stone Age? <laughs> and we are back. Our good old friend Antibert created a. A, a, a virtual online game show named after you called Sheckardy, like Jeopardy. Uh, what's Sheck online? Is it on the clothesline? Online? <laughs> what's that? Well, let's check it out. Antibur, can you show us a little bit about the new game show, Sheckardy? Uh, sure, it's called Sheckardy. This is Sheckardy. <laughs> Wow. Wow, that's impressive. There's a lot of red tape and a lot of uh, bureaucratic nonsense to try to get on the real Jeopardy. And then you got to kiss Alex Trebek's ass. Oh, Alex. Oh, I'm so sorry about your cancer. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> I just want to play the game, you know? What is uh, Bewitched? It's a, it's a strange affliction, but... It's like uh, dyslexia, except with names. Want me to show you? Yes, I, I need to understand how this works. Okay, so for instance, I was listening to the radio and somebody said Ella Fitzgerald, right? In my mind, I switched it all up and it turned into Gerald Fitz Ella. Very strange. I'll give you one more. Give me one more. Everybody's I... talking about Hunter Biden. Unfortunately, Hunter... in my head, I hear Biden Hunter. <laughs> That's it. You know what the music means? Oh no, we're out of time? <laughs> Already? <laughs> it went so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the beauty of the show is the nowness. We're very now because it's live. Okay, better be there or you're dead, and so is Shecky. Oh my God, Shecky, you're in trouble. How did I get involved? 